Yeah, uh, here you go. You got your bezel. What is up, YouTube? Today we have Coin Ops dropping their arcade final build, and this is really cool. It's really cool because their themes are now totally like just the transitions, the way you go from favorites to all. Um, if I go over to um, a different letter here um, and I go to settings, you're going to be able to change the theme out, turn on glass effects. Um, so let's just head over here this way, this way. Yeah, there we go. You have all these themes. I'm going to show you all the themes. On top of all these theme options, you can also set it to like uh, inversed view. So like if you have a cocktail cabinet, you can have uh, half the screen going one direction, half the other. Right now we have this on a normal, you know, monitor, uh, horizontal monitor, non-vertical. You can change it to a vertical monitor with a click of a button, run a batch file. This is for your PC. And as you see here, there are some console games on here as well, like Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Street Fighter, Donkey Kong Country 2, um, Super Mario, Yoshi's World, Super Metroid, Ghosts and Ghouls. And then on top of all that, you have all your arcades. It is preloaded. It is rocking seven or 470 games. And so in this video, let's go ahead and check out the games and, and look how beautiful this is. These are the original cabinets, like way, way, way cool. Um, and uh, it's all set up with bezels for the consoles, um, you know, and I believe the arcade as well. Uh, you can set up your favorites, you can change the theme. They have uh, like hyper spin, you know, spin wheels, uh, ways to get through things. We're gonna check out those themes uh, in a second. Uh, and then it's all with the press of a button here. Uh, I'm running this on an 8-bit DO controller, or 8-bit DO, if somebody, call, whatever, you, however you call it. Um, so here we are, and here's one with a wheel, with a vertical wheel. And as you see, you have the, um, you know, the different categories: run and gun. Although that's a StarCraft uh, two reference there, right? Star StarCraft one or StarCraft two? There's a Marine. Uh, beat 'em ups, old schools, favorites, and all racing games, and uh, shoot 'em up, and Fight Club. And again, you can always go back to all. Something uh, I've noticed is, I don't know, this is maybe, you know, my ignorance here, is, you know, this the way the themes work, you have genres theme, and then we just went into, uh, I forget which theme we were just in, like, wall. Like, I guess, can you only, my question is that can you only, so this one has the wheel on the right. See, before the wheel was on the left. So let's go back and change the theme again. But look at these transitions, like, as I move just so smooth and the fact that you can kind of see the one the 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 systems or or arcades to the left or to the right um really really nice so your uh console games and then that's your first arcade game right there right so it just comes with a couple of console games on there we'll, we'll jump into those in a second so now another now it's going to go to the wheel theme so let's go ahead and uh i think that's the theme we were on before now it's like let's go to the next one because this, this one is not a wheel. So I guess the theme it's telling you is the theme you're currently on. So like right now we're on, if we scoot over, we're on wall, which would make sense. There's a wall. Got some bricks back there. Um, and then you could jump letters if I use my X and my Y. So look at the bottom of your screen right now. You can jump around letters with X and Y. Oh, there's like a long jump. Okay, my long jumps and then my just one letter jump with with X. So that's pretty cool. And again, you know, if you just go to like the number and then you head over left, you go past, past your console games. Now this is where I was kind of confused here, like why, why write arcade on top of a console game? Uh, but I guess it's just to kind of keep the whole arcade, right? This is the arcade, the coin ops arcade build, right? We need to have our own custom art for it. Uh, so I get that. So now I believe I hit this again. I'll, I'll, I'll move into the next thing. We were on the wall theme. And again, I could be wrong there. And now, which is this, this makes more sense, right? Because let's, this one should be like, yeah, genres, right? So now it's in genres, right? You have your old school genre, your beat em up genre, your run and gun genre, your fight club. Uh, and personally, I kind of like this one because I don't like those large, large correction, uh, the collections, not corrections, collections to have to run through on that. Uh, like if I want to, I want to play a racing game, let's go play a racing game. You know, you just go sort through the racing games. And again, you can sort by letter here. 
And you might notice it might skip some letters like Q because there are no Q racing games on this build. We've got Outrun. Um, so let's go ahead and look at the games and then we'll play some games. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and go to All. And uh, as you see, we're in our genres theme. And uh, so let's go ahead. I kind of like the, um, I like the wheel too because the wheel you cannot you can see the name as well i think some people might like that so let's go back to all not favorites and then let's go down the list here so you can actually see the names really big at the same time um as far as file size i'm going to check that in just a second it's not that big it's like 20 gigabytes and i'm running this on a pc no it's not for the raspberry pi no it's not for your xbox uh no it's not for your nintendo switch um, the uh, team is, is great. Uh, they have a great Discord channel, a lot of help, a lot of support. And so I'm always a really big fan of coin ops in general because they're so user friendly. All I did was extract this file and pair my 8 bit do, 8 bit do controller. I'm running the, uh, the now, uh, you know, older model of the, uh, of the, SN30 Pro Plus. Now there's the two Model 2 now for that controller. But what, like I was saying, I just connect my Bluetooth controller, I launch the application, and I'm rocking and rolling. Now some of you might want to play with those batch files, which I'll show you a little bit later, where you can change, you know, the the visual effects, the scan lines, whether you want it to have a glass look or not. Like it has, you know, back in the arcade days, there was a piece of glass in front of the monitor, or the way the CRT looked you know it had that glass effect um, and then there's other effects as well you can play with and then you can orient the screen differently if this is for a vertical build you know a widescreen build whatever uh, and then you can add games as well um, but the point i wanted to talk a little bit more about is how user friendly this is and how plug and play it is you know that's that's one of the most popular comments i get on this channel you know, with any build I post, you know, with the Raspberry Pi build, especially the pre-built builds, people are like, how do I get this? How do I set this up? Well, first, let's talk about setting up because that's the easy one. It's literally just unzip it. You hook up a controller and you can even hook up a USB controller and have no, you know, just Xbox 360 controller is great. Xbox 360 controller, if you just want this to get it running, Xbox 360 controller, download it, you're good to go. Um, but you can, you know, it does run on many, many other controllers and you can configure additional controllers. This is a great game right here, Demon Front. Highly recommend. So that's just how easy it is. Now, as far as getting it, the best way to get these is through backups.me. And I did a video on that. Um, you know, it is a process you have to apply. You have to install Discord and you have to join their channel and you have to just read through some things, but it does not cost you anything. I highly recommend going that route and there's many many other builds on there and other it's a, just a great community in general so that's what I recommend more than likely though this will end up on arcade punks as well which is another route for many of you to do um, so it's that easy to get going on this man if I keep this rate there's 400 right I'm gonna have to go a little faster if we want to get through GI Joe another really great game here uh, so as you see, you got like all your arcade classics and then you have some of the newer games as well. So Ghosts and Ghouls, you have the arcade versions as well. And then you have that console version, yeah, Super Ghosts and Ghouls. Some great racing games on here. Oh no, we switched to, uh, we switched to favorites to go back. Okay, cool. So, you know, I'm using my analog stick right now. So let's see if I can use my D-pad. No, it looks like it's, it's gonna default to your analog stick. And that's to be expected, you know. You can also hook up a, um, you know, like a gamepad, you know, like the 8-bit do arcade stick or, you know, a Dragonwise arcade stick, you know, different encoder boards. So Killer Instinct 1 and 2 on there. Um, so many, 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 many games here. I really like that this is on PC. You know, my a lot of people, another question I get on these builds is like, how fast is your computer? My computer is really fast, everyone. It, you know, I, it's my main computer I'm on right now. So, but if you have like anything built within the last three, four, five years, it's gonna run just, just, just fine. Um, it doesn't require a lot. All these games are not intensive at all, and this front end is not intensive at all. I would say like even like an i5, 
a, a you know first or second generation i5 or better you know processor you'd be good to go but i understand a lot of people want to do this on a budget i'm sure any laptop you can get for 250 dollars or more would run this just fine even if it was used uh but again you know that's really where you're starting if your laptop is 500 dollars, there's no reason why this wouldn't run you know i know some of you're going to have unique situations especially if you're out of the United States, you know, I understand electronics can be more expensive. So, wow, 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 wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and play some games and show you how the games look with the bezels and things. And then we'll look at the file system really quick, just so you can see what it looks like as far as when it's extracted on your computer. But uh, so far, I mean, look, every single video snap, all the icons, uh, you got, you know, I think you're going to have, especially if you're like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm a father. And so, you know, I can imagine some people who are much older than me who might have grown up on, you know, snow bros or something, you know, different de There's a couple different decades here, right? So, you know, whether you want, you know, the early 60s, 70s, you know, and it looks like, you know, this goes all the way up to the, you know, 90s or so. 90s, maybe some 2000s. Like when I was Tekken 3, I feel like that was fair, not... I don't know, maybe I'm aging myself here. But um, that's really cool that there's such a variety and it, you know, it really does, um, you know, give you that, that variety. I really like this game right here. Um, and then genre wise as well, right? Fighters, shoot 'em ups, racing, you really get a good Good mix. X and arcade game. X Men vs. Street Fighter, right? Like, look at just the difference between those two games <laughs> graphically. Okay, so we're just about done. And now you can see the little heart in the lower left hand corner there. That's really cool. And it tells you whether you favored it or not. It, it turns bright red. I think one of these games back here was favorited. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I just saw one. There you go. Kung Fu. <laughs> um, and then uh, favorite toggle, you could, I guess. I don't know what that does. Um, oh, it just changes it to back to favorites like that, probably. Okay. And then glass scan lines. Okay, so let's... Um, Sonic the Hedgehog is easy to start. So let's go ahead and launch it. Oh, I missed it. Press the wrong button. So here's the main file. It's actually only 13 gigabytes, and you need open arcade. You can see all these advanced configurations I was telling you about. All you, these are batch files, so you just double click them, and this that automatically applies to your your build here. So you can change the default controls. You can lock them, unlock them. You can change the way the games are horizontal or vertical. You can add a second screen and change the second screen. Um, console Easter eggs on or or off. Um, very interesting. I'll have to play with that. Uh, favorite games clear right so you could just if if you make the wrong thing or, or you don't like a certain way you can set it back to default really easily or change it depending on what your uh, your systems are collections is where all your games are um, and then as far as uh, fixes when not working you definitely want to install this you know most computers have this installed already but direct X and VC read disk just drivers you need in order for this to run to start with um, and then as you see here, there's an all and a micro. It's my understanding that the micro is is no uh, console games. It's 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 less games altogether. Because when you go, you'll see here it's only 94 games. See that on the bottom right corner. So it's I, I mean I feel like it's just the um, yeah it's just a it's just a smaller variant of this build. So um, there's the mini as well. So we can get out of that. But uh, what you've been looking at in this video is all right here. Press A to go into the game. And uh, here you go, you got your bezel.
jumping on the camera. Oh, Yeah. 